Hi. Hey. Hello. Hmm. Mm hmm. I got, uh, is this camera crooked? This camera is crooked. It looks like it's crooked here on the, the mount on the monitor. I get, it fell behind my monitor the other day. And so I had to reposition it, but I don't want the, the stupid clip on it to hang down over the image of the monitor. Cause what the hell's the point of that? So, okay. Now, well, now I raised it up and now I got it. Okay. You want a little bit of headroom in the shot, right? This camera's warm. It's a warm. It's a warm. I mean, like physically to the touch, not like the color temperature is warm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nothing there. Okay. We're over here now. Okay. Hello. Hi. We're here. Oh, no, we're not there. Where's the. Okay. Hang on. Turn that on. Boom. Now we're back here. What's going on? Uh, it's, it's Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> just hanging around, just hanging around. Kind of weird. Um, um, my wife's mother's in town. She came to, to, you know, uh, stay with us for a little bit. You know, she had been quarantined for a while and, and all that sort of stuff. And it's like, it's, uh, I haven't seen another human person for a, a long time. And so it's kind of weird having someone around, but actually, you know, that means, you know, to kind of a little bit of help with the baby, kind of hang out, all this other stuff. So I've got a little bit more time today. So I figured, Hey, why don't I get on the internet and, uh, you know, play video games on the internet. That seems like a, that seems like what you do. That seems like what, what a person would do. So, so here I am. Uh, should you order wings? Yeah. I I mean I think so. I have not ordered wing. I I don't remember the last time I had wings. I don't. Yeah. Hmm. Wings. I um. So uh. I got onto Patreon which is a website where you can spend money on things. And I gave people money for Minecraft shaders. And I'm curious to see how, uh, how it'll look, how, it, so I wanted to try to stream a little bit of that and, and mess around with that. I got a, a couple of different, um, a couple of different shaders, shader packs installed, and so I thought I would uh, jump into a little bit of uh, a game we call Minecraft. Java edition. Minecraft colon Java edition, I guess, is technically. Whoa, what's it downloading? Is there a... Update something? I don't know. Um, must have been a launcher update. Or is there... Maybe there's a new snapshot or something it is uh it is struggling to open here okay now it's opening okay struggling to open on account of the frame rate of dream just went to ass and now we're back thrashing and loading and loading and thrashing i guess all these ssds but it's uh you know it's um yeah, I don't know. Sometimes when stuff opens up, it still uh, chugs or, or cannot maintain everything all at once. Maybe that's just a CPU thing. Um, I got some other ideas about moving things around to different PCs and all this other stuff, but I need to get a second good mouse and a second good keyboard. Ooh, should put that on the... All right, I gotta hit this. And, uh, and then hit that. Hey... Uh, so let's let's jump on here. And uh see what we're working with here.
So I signed up for the Patreon for um, the Seuss uh, PTGI, the Path uh, Traced Global Illumination, and also uh, the Molly VX v uh, rewrite, which is a, a similar in concept, but has a, a, a pretty different look um, currently. And um, also, I did some work down uh, down this way. Where I made this a gigantic fire hallway because I thought that would look cool and I was right it does it does look cool got some some glossy some glossy stuff here I've uh oh it's it's nighttime maybe I should oh let's go up here I've been trying to, and I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I've been trying to flatten out this wall here and make it all kind of the same height. And then I want to put something over here on this side of the wall, but I'm not quite sure what yet. I think it's probably going to be made out of more uh, magma blocks. Um, that's, that's where my head is at with it right now. Um... Well, it's well, it's nighttime. Why don't I jump around? So you can you can flip these kind of you know more or less on the fly here. Um, the Molly VX rewrite. Let's go with that. You see some different, uh, you know, different color to the lava that I'm kind of into. Uh, you see the sword is still, you know, like, uh, I guess, you know, because this is a, maybe, maybe because it's a new version of um, Minecraft. I don't know why. I don't know why the weapons are, like, enchanted weapons are just like this glowing, uh, featureless blocky sword and I don't you know I don't know if that's you know by design or whatever looks like smoke particles and stuff like that work a little bit better in this one than they do in the current version of uh Seuss uh but we don't you know we don't have that shine we don't have that gloss on these uh on this polished uh on these polished steps See an Enderman down there, and so yeah, he's cool. Very dark. Uh, water has a much different look in this one than it does in the other one. And I think there's something real moody about the way the lighting is here. Uh, uh, that I that I really like. Um, okay, here's here's sunrise. Let's take a look at sunrise. But yeah, I think you know all the a lot of the the mod creators and stuff. Obviously, kind of scrambling a little bit since um, a new version of Minecraft came out. Shader packs are are not quite the same in that they more or less. Um, you know that are 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 not version specific but obviously but some work does need to be done so it's, it's yeah so at some point it's like okay optifine needs to be updated and then on top of that um uh so so that's been largely updated but there's still work to do there and so it's you know learning about the the hows and whys of uh minecraft um mods not necessarily like gameplay mods oh that was a, a pretty dramatic pop to to daytime there um but the um, learning about that stuff has been very fascinating, and 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 like the lengths that people are going to, and also the amount of money that is being made. Like the uh, the person who is uh, Sonic Ether, who makes Sonic Ether's um, 
was it unbelievable shaders Seuss, uh that patreon is currently pulling in fifty three thousand dollars a month a month it's a lot of money minecraft is very popular it turns out and the number of people willing to give him ten dollars a month uh to uh get access to this stuff is is quite a bit uh also it, it, um his stuff has not quite been updated all that recently so let's, let's swap back to that one um i think molly vx is very cool too i, I think I'm, I'm currently leaning towards uh the the seuss ptgi um from, from like a technical perspective well I don't, I don't know i don't know i don't even know what i'm saying but uh i think generally i think this one is i think i like the look of the water in this one better um and uh and that sort of stuff but molly vx has a really cool look to it as well and, and some of that stuff can be tweaked like i think you can tweak the color temperature of and, and even uh, of some of the the glowing like light source blocks and stuff on an individual basis um which i'm not necessarily looking for like that deep of a level i, I kind of just want to like fire it up and have it look good and um they both they both uh achieve that pretty well um did uh did something about the view distance get tweaked? I don't know. No. Um, because I, I feel like I used to be able to see all of, of Ben's tower. Um, is it easier to see underwater in uh in PTGI? I don't know. Let's let's go check. Um I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Also, a few nights ago, while, uh, you know, messing around with these shaders and doing some more mining, um, I fucking found some diamonds, finally. I went down to where there was some lava. Level 11. And, and dug around. And eventually, uh, my, my concerted efforts to do some digging did not turn up anything, and then I rounded a corner... And found all this crazy ass lava, uh, just huge lava everywhere. I should maybe I'll just go down there real quick. And um, and then lo and behold, just poking out, there were some diamonds. Yeah, Brad might have tweaked uh, view distance on the server side for sure. Um, okay, I think it was down this way. And then it was down here. I should dig this out so I'm not hitting my face into these over and over again because it just makes. I mean, if I was really, if I really cared, I would build a bunch of actual steps, right? Um, okay, and then so that's where the terminals. That's where that stops. Let me go up over here, past this water. Uh, there was some lava here that I dug out. Uh, or, uh, or scooped out, I guess, with a bucket. And then went down this way. And here, yeah, okay. Here we are. Um... Get at me, dog. You! Ah! Um... So yeah, I, I just wanted to cross this lava and, and work my way over here. And then, sure enough, I think it was right here. I think here's where the diamonds were was very exciting. Oh shit. Uh, also, uh, a bunch of my armor is busted. <laughs> or, yeah, I guess I'm I'm out of enchanted armor. I need to rebuild and re-enchant, I guess. Um...
How does it generate that? Uh, just here's a block just in the middle of nowhere. I don't think I did that. Um. Uh, anyway, uh, that's where I found those diamonds. It was pretty exciting. Hi. Uh, See, even the the iron blocks have a little uh, flickery. <laughs> Uh, reflections on them, which is kind of cool. Let's uh, let's switch shaders and see. Okay, we got to be do this quick because I don't want to. Let's go back to the Molly VX rewrite here. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's cool. Uh, but it's also like weirdly grainy. I um, it runs weird. This. <laughs> I'm even getting frame rate wise here. Yeah, below thirty. That's for sure. Delicious. Oh, did my stairs get destroyed, or am I? Find the wrong spot. What? No, this is where I went back down, right? This. Okay. Well, these are solvable problems. Yeah. So um, the the uh, this this one Molly VX rewrite is is in a Patreon for. Uh, I believe it's five dollars a month, and the the uh, the Seuss P PGI is is currently ten dollars a month. I think the idea is that uh, at least the Seuss one will be free when it is done, but also it hasn't been updated in an, in a bit here, um, a few months anyway. Um, uh, whereas with uh, with Molly VX, you can actually that's some maybe some lighting weirdness here. Is that? Seeing some shadows moving, like sun shadows moving. Yeah, you know, so a lot of the stuff is, you know, obviously... Obviously work in progress type stuff. Um, and so you end up with some little things like that. I downloaded another one that I haven't even tried yet. These melon shaders. Delicious. And I don't think these do path tracing per se. Um, okay, so this is a little more. It's got a, f a blur to it that's actually kind of nice. Uh, we're still getting that like daytime lighting through here that's kind of weird. Um, wait, this isn't... Oh, okay, I'm here. Wait, how did I get here? It's all connected, man. Turns out I've just been digging one big mine. And then Raspberry, I believe, is from the author of Molly VX, and it is uh also not um not path uh path traced per se. Um so it's a little more. Oh hey. And some of these, I, I might need to tweak some settings to get them running the, the the best that they can. Some of them have requirements about like the way you set up Optifine and some other stuff like that. That you know, I'm just flipping between them here. Um, shit, changing shaders while there's monster noises. Always a good plan. Hey, what's up? All right, I put all these torches here as a sign that says, you can get out over here. But where is here? I'm trying to remember which, which tunnel this one 
comes out of. Because I started digging shortcuts to shortcuts to shortcuts, and eventually it's just like now this woven network of... Um, Okay, so this is going to lead me back. This okay, so that's okay. That's that's the turnaround. This is the turnaround. There used to be lava down there that I stole for my floor up there. Oh, I forgot to get lava while I was down there. Hey, buddy. Okay. So I came out the same place. There's just okay. There's there's multiple ways to get down to all that lava. I guess. Got it. Um, yeah, so I don't know. <laughs> Shaders are cool. Minecraft is good. Um, and, uh, and I got this awesome fire tunnel now, which I'm, I'm pretty psyched about. Uh, and I, I killed another Enderman. All right, throw that in there, and uh, let's take that. I could take okay. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not smelt way more smooth stone than I will ever possibly need? Silder's vibrant shaders. Yeah, I'll give that a look at some point. Um, but also the yeah, I mean the frame rate is a. Uh, a nightmarish nightmare at times. Um, like even, you know, looking at the ground, I don't get sixty. So if I if I take the torch out of my hand, does that help? Because it's one fewer light source. I guess not. Eh, maybe a little. Eh. Anyways. Let's head up. I think the clouds actually look really good uh, in this. Lava for a trash can. Yeah, I, 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 I will eventually probably make a lava disposal zone compost heap type thing. Um, but for now, I, I just throw shit on the ground and let it despawn. Um, and that's been working out okay. Uh, but this is still, I mean, you know, and, and I'm, I'm sure some of it's probably because I have this. So you see, yeah, you see, like, there's supposed to be, like, particles and stuff coming off of these a lot of the time. And they just don't. Or if they do, they're transparent or something. So it's can be kind of a weird effect. Um, but, I mean, this is still a playable frame rate. I'm sure some of that is, uh, some of that, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the stream trying to see probably, and guessing that the stream is probably what it would look like. If I did not have a G-Sync monitor. Because um, it still is, is very playably smooth. Oh, look at this fucking guy. Just spawning up here. You asshole. Get off. Anyway, this Minecraft, it's a video game. Um, there's another fucker over here, man. This area needs some torches. Oh, all right, I don't. All right, I don't want Brad's bridge to, to blow up, so I'm just gonna back away. I'm confident that I could fight those guys and not have things blow up, but it's not my shit, so.
So yeah, this is probably the shader pack I'm going to stick with. Um, for now. Um, and I don't know, what to, is it... Is it uh, is it bad etiquette to join a Patreon, get a thing, and then immediately unsubscribe from it? And then, you know, potentially resubscribe next time there's a major, like, a version update or something? Is that, is that like a, is that a shitty thing to do? I don't even know. Slabs on top of things make the surface not spawnable by monsters, regardless of light levels. No kidding. I always wondered what slabs were for, because they seemed pointless. No, that's not, that's not a shitty thing to do. Just bailing on, on someone's uh, Patreon like that. Yeah. Because I don't know, you know, like I'm... Interested in following, you know, updated versions of these shader packs, for sure, but, um... But, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna... I don't know, we'll see. That's Minecraft. pretty good um so i was thinking about maybe playing some um some more uh ghost of tsushima tsushima uh today um because i've been kind of going through that a little bit um and it's pretty good i don't know it's uh It's like it's uh it's uh fine. <laughs> I guess is the is the word, right? I don't I'm I'm having a good time with it. Um but I don't um It's it you know, I I don't I'm not sh it's it's fine. There are I don't have a ton of issues with it other than it is pretty monotonous. Um, but that's okay right now because I've I've been, you know, trying to skip a lot of open world games, honestly, and um, and and not and not playing a ton of them. So, um, so as a result, I think I'm a little more ready for one uh, than uh. Than I may have been. Um, you've heard it described as the ideal sale game. Yeah, I think that um, I'm having a good time with it, and uh, and it's totally okay. And I don't like. You know, I, I saw there were some people falling all over themselves about like, oh my god, this game, and it's like, yeah, it's it's cool. Like, I don't I don't have anything, I don't really have anything uh, bad to say about it, other than yeah, I, th I think it's like really um, like I haven't gotten out of Act One yet because I've been trying to do a lot of side stuff. Um, so maybe that's my fault, but. Um, It seems pretty repetitive, and I guess I don't really care about the story or the characters all that much. Like it's it's a good vibe. This game's this game's got a vibe, and I think it's a good vibe. But I think if you are breaking down the individual story beats and stuff, and looking at how they try to to play that stuff off, and I haven't finished it yet, so you know if if they if they make good on the um like based on the story so far, I think if they do a good job uh, with the whole like you are clearly fighting without honor and you're supposed to be a samurai and what does that mean like if they if they pay that off well that'll be 
that will beat my expectations, I guess, for, for kind of what the, what the story has been so far. Um, so, yeah, I've just kind of just been going around doing stuff, getting upgrades, uh, completing some of these mythic tales, a couple of those. So I got a, a set of armor. I, I don't know. And I don't know that I like the, um, So they they put stats or they put uh, they put um, bonuses on the armor. So with this samurai armor, I get a health increase, damage reduction, and uh, I get resolve when I take damage. This armor is good if you're going to be using a bow a lot, and um, you know, so you can put that on and and then get these bonuses about knocking speeds and and reloading speeds and. And all that sort of stuff. This is for exploring the map, and it'll, you know, if you're near a collectible, the controller will vibrate and stuff like that. And that's that's useful for a time. And it, I kind of just would rather have those be separate bonuses that I could just stack up instead of having to like manage armor. I don't know that it, that managing armor is like a, a necessary or um fun it's not it has not been a fun trade-off and, and there's been a lot of cases where like oh i'm gonna run around in this armor because it exposes more of the map and then you get in a fight and you just pause go into the menu put on your fight and armor and unpause and and you know you can do that on the fly you don't have to go back to a chest and, and re-equip stuff and and whatever else so it, it just kind of results in like well if you want to if you want to do that optimally then um you are pausing and and you know putting on different armor for fights and all this other stuff um, I got this goofy ass mask. I think it just looks dumb and I think that's fun, but, uh, but whatever. I also got this hat, uh, and I don't like it. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm, I'm still wearing a headband, uh, cause I, it's, I, I want to see dude's face when he does his work, when he, uh, when he, uh, when he cuts fools. So, um, so that's, yeah, so I've just been going around like this, pretty much. Uh, let's go around, pretty much, and uh, and do some things. Um, also, seeing stuff like this, where it's like, hey, this guy that you needed to do for a mission, and now it's it's now a nine-part tale. It's just like, I look at it and just like, man, nine is a lot of parts. <laughs> um, for these rewards that don't seem very good. Uh, but that's close, so let's just uh let's let's try that. I think presentationally the game's pretty cool. Um you know when you pick a quest objective and it immediately makes the wind blow and, and you know the the way um, even if sometimes it takes a little bit longer than, than you'd like, like, I think the post, there's like a post mission, like, I'm just going to stand here with my horse while words on the screen say you finished a mission. And, and like, I think that stuff's pretty well done. Oh, whoops. I accidentally. I accidentally played my flute. think that makes it daytime <laughs> which is a ridiculous yeah what is, uh right a song that can change the weather yeah the sun's warm embrace so you can make it storm make it foggy cause it to rain i that's i think that's fun uh for them to just be like Yo, you like the Legend of Zelda? We did as well. This is not necessarily that type of game, but that does not mean that we don't like it. Do I need to go up? Wait, sorry. Okay. Yeah.
I saw someone say, follow the bird. Uh, no game audio. Weird. Hmm. I mean, there's not a ton of audio to... to be heard. It's a pretty quiet game, but uh, how's that? I can turn it up. Because it is a little low. Zero decibels, you say. That's really strange on account of I'm watching these meters bounce. They're bouncing and unmuted, so I, that's, um, I swear if you guys are fucking with me, I'm closing this chat. Yet over the centuries, the it's a pretty quiet game, but, uh. How's that? It's a pretty quiet game, but uh, how's that? Yeah, that's bouncing to all tracks there. Hmm. Why would it do that? Why would it do that? That's my question. I'm not even sure what to try to fix that, to be honest. Try to fix that. That, to be honest. Try to fix that. But I come through. Check, check, check. Yep. Yeah, so it's not... Hmm. Hmm. Why would it do that? So now I'm, now I'm looking over at the machine that's actually running the stream and the levels there are not bouncing when the PlayStation does something. But... It'll, uh, the world's 
Plays that. So PC audio getting through just fine. The fucking capture card is getting is like I'm looking at it bounce here. That's fucking maddening. Okay. Okay. Well, hmm. What are some things we could do to do that? We can go in here, go into properties, deactivate, reactivate. Um, audio output mode, capture audio only. How about we just output uh, to there? No, that's not on. That actually doesn't. No, that doesn't do the thing I'm trying to do. Uh, capture audio only. Okay. All right, this seems like it's working now. This seems like it's working now. Let's go back over here. Anyway, you didn't miss anything. There were some birds. You could hear some wind. Sick new headband. Sakai. Any word on Tomoe? Yes, but I'm not sure you are ready for her. You make her sound like a demon. That's not far off the mark. Tomoe is fearless. She is not samurai, but she is a born killer. I know the type. No, you do not. Like this stuff, presentationally, I think is, is, is pretty nice for what it is. Come. Where are we headed? An archery range. The local saw Mongols training there. I suspect Tomoe was with them. If Tomoe is truly fearless, she'd make a useful ally. A starving leopard is fearless too. Leopards can't master your way of the bow. Let it go, Sakai. She will never join us. Why does she turn against you? I took a risk sharing all I knew with her. When she betrayed my trust, I punished her. It must have been harsh. You saw what she did to the prisoners at Fort Nakayama. That was no mistake. That was a choice. I forget. I always I've forgotten like multiple times played. in this game, and we don't know that, it was that he will move. Even though he you is in front of you, do. he will move at the speed you are moving. And so if you sit there and walk with him, and go like, "Man, pick up the pace, old man," it's like, "Oh right, I need to run," and then he will run. That's yeah. That's uh. I suppose that's a more elegant system than having them just run away from you, but. Uh, at least then you know where you stand. Do 
You have to climb to get there. Sure you can make it, Sensei? What are you waiting for, Sakai? You need a hand, Sensei? That dude's just gone. Not what? bad, Sakai. What? What? You said the only way up was to climb. No. I said you had to climb. It's good exercise. Arrows. Mongol and Japanese. If they were here, they're long gone. We might pick up their trail by the practice target. There is no target. Near that watchtower. Not bad, Sensei. Find out where they went. Move it, Sakai. I'm helping you, man. Don't be a dick about this. You're like, I got eight more missions. And a mission two, you're already an asshole? I got so many other dumb things How I can be doing. Is this training? A severed head. Used for target practice. Sensei, Mongols here. Right. Sensei, I could use your help. Sensei, I could use your help. Yo, man, why you suck Good so much? work, Sakai. Resting your bow arm, Sensei. Observing your response to an ambush. You knew those Mongols were still here. Yes. You didn't think to mention it? If you can't handle a few Mongols, what good will you be against Tomoe? This is war, not a test. And how many wars have you fought? Uh, well, I mean, just the... I'll well. test you as I see fit. I can see why Tomoe attacked you. <laughs> now, where did she go, Sakai? I'll look around. A lot of tracks. A dozen men. Maybe more. Follow the trail. It's been a little too much trail following in this game also. If we catch her, do not wait for me. Attack and keep moving, or you'll die. Do you plan to use your bow this time? If we find her. And if not? Can you take a dozen enemy soldiers without me? If I must. Good answer. Also, the tracks are weird, because it's like they just show up in these spots and then don't... then don't really fill in so it's just these weird patches of like, here's some more tracks and then here's smooth ground and then here's some more tracks and it's just a the, the tracks stuff look weird some, like sometimes it feels like they're drawing in late or something um, you're just kind of following a road and hoping that like okay yeah this is still the way and it'll tell you like hey you are off the track once you get on it so there's stuff like that too it's yeah i don't know it's not it's a, it's a little funky look at them they're practicing what tomoe taught them murdering the innocent
Did you see a Japanese woman with these Mongols? I couldn't believe it. She was giving them orders. What did she say? Something about the sensei and the hot springs. That's all I heard, my lord. Forgive me. Monster out of hunt. They heard Tomoe giving orders to the Mongols. She mentioned Hiyoshi Springs. She's just getting started. Sakai, the way you fight, it's not your uncle's way, and it's not mine. We've never faced an enemy like this. I do what I must to defeat them. A samurai is a guardian, not a killer who darts around like a thief. You didn't see Komodo. So I wonder I've if this dude enough. is only giving me shit because I did that stealth assassination. I know it was brutal, but I won't train another monster. I know. I won't let that happen. If Tomoe is going after Yoshi Springs, I need to prepare. So do you. I'll see you at my dojo, Sakai. Like, that would be cool if the game um, actually reacts to... So I, I feel like it just hasn't done that. Like, that's that's the for as much as it, it's like, oh, Samurai's fight with honor, blah, 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 blah. Like, it hasn't really made that matter. Um, but if, uh, if that dude only, like from other people, said he gives you shit no matter what you do, yeah, that sucks. See, that sucks. Like, if the game was super reactive to the way you fought, and if it treated it like um, almost like a Paragon Renegade type system of just like, are you doing ill shit in front of people that would go like, that ain't what a samurai would do. Um, you know, have that affect uh, what you do. Like a ghost of Tsushima. It, it should be a case of like, at night, I'm going to put on this other outfit and go out and do ill deeds to protect people. Uh, and then during the day, I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm a samurai. Let's look at, I'm going to look you in the eyes and we're, we're going to do a thing. But like, that's, yeah, hear, hearing that it does the same thing, no matter what, that's weak. Uh, that's weak. Like, <laughs> oh, like infamous. Yeah, yeah sure. Kind of like, yeah, I guess, I guess maybe a little bit like infamous now that, now that you mentioned it. Hmm. Well, if they've done that before, I wonder if that's a system that they had in mind and that if they didn't, um, you know, just didn't have time to make good on it or, or, or if it just wasn't fun or something like that. Because like, it seems like that would be the game, right? When, when, when the game is like conceptually described, you think like, oh, well, okay, there's like a, there's some kind of system in place there where... If you do a thing a certain way, you're going to be a bad, you know, you're a bad samurai or, or whatever. Are you going to maintain honor throughout and fill this meter and have different options and, you know, maybe a romance somebody if you fill, the, if you're just a good samurai, you know, something like that. But, um, but I don't know. It doesn't, it's, I guess, it, I guess it's not that game. That's a shame. Uh, that's a shame. That's something you look at and go like, yeah, this game could be more, could be a lot more. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be back in a sec. Damn, son, where'd you find this?
All right. <clears throat> well, we did that thing. Um, oh. Also, this, like, fast travel currently disabled because you're still technically letting this end of mission journal stuff play out. Like, run into that a couple of times where I've been ready to go do the next thing before it is ready to let me. Uh... Nothing good for me to steal in here. Like you can pick up stuff while you're on the horse. Very convenient. Ready for that ass? <laughs> Only thing that would make this better is a jar of Kenji's sake. But then he'd never stop talking. Horse combat wasn't awful. Yeah, it's it's the yeah, horse combat's not great. Uh, it's like it's it's there, but uh, but yeah. All right. Well, I guess what else, huh? I guess I should start trying to progress the story again, huh? Well, let's. Fast travel here and go to some of these other spots on the way. Yeah, some Master Chief ass? Yeah, I figure that's going to be a full 45 minutes of John 117 hanging, hanging, that, hanging one out. It's the window of a moving warthog. Game needs like a Saints Row insurance fraud. Oh, I haven't, I haven't been to one of these yet. Oh. 
Oops. Damn it. <laughs> that seems useful. Grasslands. Straw hat mercenaries were seen in the area. They took all. You seen this bird or is it just me? Am I freaking Nothing. out? Lady, lady. I'm going to starve. What happened? Bandits, my lord. They took my food. <laughs> Every last scrap. Did you see where they went? Northeast, into the woods. If I find them, they'll regret stealing from you. Please don't harm them. They're just as desperate as I am. No promises. Like these little things, the, the intro to a mission and stuff, like here's an empty basket, it's called empty baskets, what more do you want? But it's, you know, it's, it's kind of, um, like they do a good job of, of making that, those little things feel cinematic. <laughs> Search area thing? Okay. Stand and fight! Let's do things honorably for once. You want some? Stool. Mine now. I saw a guy, and I, I don't know if it's programmed. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't know if it's programmed to do this or if it was just like a happy accident. Uh, but like, you know, sometimes you'll kill a guy or they won't die. They'll they'll be down on the ground crawling, and dude crawled right into the fire. It was kind of awesome. Um, and just like he was like crawling his last breath and then crawled right into a fire and just burned up. And I was like, that's fucked up. Kind of neat. Hmm? <laughs> Let's go, son of Here's your rice. I killed those dudes. Anyway, peace. You got holes in your door. My lord, you're back. I have your food. Rice. I don't remember the last time I had rice. You said they stole it from you. Please, for forgive me. You lied to me. Bandits don't deserve food at a time like this, my lord. Besides... 
I ask you not to hurt them. He gave me no choice. Oh, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have lied. Kill her. I still have to kill her. Helped you. I won't do it again. That's right, I you won't. I promise. Oh, bamboozled. Boned by the master. Well, at least I got a defense charm out of it. It's one cut for lion. Like samurais, they're pretty much just like Judge Dread, right? I mean, lady, you got a horse at the door. Oh, I have to Hey, you want to uh, fill out my map a little bit? Those people need help. I just hope Hanauka can get to them in time. If not... Who needs help? A camp of refugees. They're very sick. The healer Hanauka is trying to this reach microphone. them. I need to get the this Mongols have brought that region a, to its knees. In a way that I'm... The I, to, I lean in. The the healer healer not, help to get this there. is bad posture. What this is. Bad. This bad posture. this guy's problem. Hey, man. Some reckless eyeballing you're doing over here. Hee <laughs> hee. Straw hat's doing. My straw hat pizza. Mmm. Man, I haven't been. I'd, 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 does straw hat pizza even still have to be more than one Mongol? Straw hat here became a pizza hut at some point. It's, and then that closed down too. Ah, there's no pizza hut. And no straw hat. Looks like more bodies up ahead. It appears that they let them hit the floor. From his attackers. Buddy, what happened? <laughs> oh, you need help? Scarecrow, you've looked better too. <laughs> Can I have my hat? You're a mercenary now, professional warrior. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for your leader. He died on Komodo Beach. You were there too. I lost a lot of friends. We all did. And we can avenge them if we work together. Help me save Lord Shimura. He's alive. The straw hats are hurt. Starving. I can't ask them to risk their lives for one 
man. Even if this you can man's name got a good price. mustache, though. We save him. Once maybe we we'll free you some mustache home. tips. Lord Shimura will pay you anything you want. My men might be interested. Your men? I look out for them. Someone has to. Do we have a deal? Army of two. I'll think about it. Hold your ground. I always do. This is for Komodo Beach. Kill them all! has improved and you managed to grow a beard that hurts have you considered my offer the straw hats can't save your uncle we'll be lucky if we survive the week it's that bad we're starving i was out here hunting for food and i'm returning to my men empty-handed but not alone take me to your camp we'll figure something out on the road <laughs> Just like old times. Come on. When was the last time we saw each other? Two summers ago. Lord Nagao's tournament. I looked for you after the tournament ended. Straw Hats saw our duel. They needed a new sword. Seemed like fun. Why didn't you tell me you were at Komoda? You were busy with the other samurai lords. I was sharing a drink with my men. I could have used a drink before that battle. Yeah, I'll bet. Another wagon. I'd have something we can salvage. Empty. Samurai! Yeah, but it's fun samurai. to play on. Yay! Yeah. 
Was this your wagon? Yes, my lord. It's fucked Mongols up. Mongols stole my horse, took my rice. You're lucky that's all you lost. Which way did the Mongols go? Toward Fort Ohira. Damn it. Take refuge at the Golden Temple. Warn others to stay off these roads. Yes, my lord. Let's keep moving. My camp's not far. <clears throat> I meant what I said before. Help free Lord Shimura, and he'll grant you anything in his power. What's he got the power to give? Name your price. Free sake for life. Is that all? A place to drink. Big enough for all my men. Be serious, Ryuzo. I know you want to be more than a mercenary. It's been three years, Jin. Things change. It can't have been easy keeping the Straw Hats together after Komodo Beach. How did you do it? I convinced them nobody can save us but ourselves. That's true. I used to think so. But it's starting to feel like a lie. How many men do you have? We're down by half, but still enough to call ourselves a small army. Why? That peasant said the Mongols stole his rice and went to Fort Ohira. You think they're hoarding food there? Possibly. Do you have an idea? The beginning of one. Jack them motherfuckers. Easy, Shinzo. It's me. He's here! You use those back! About time. I don't see any food. Who's the samurai? Men! This is my old friend, Lord Sakai. Yuzo told me you're starving. I'm here to help. You didn't find food. We have a plan. Raid Fort Ohira and take back the food Mongols have stolen from our people. Raid a fort? They'll kill us! Give us a moment. That's Come the plan. On, we should have talked about your idea before telling my men. I wanted to give them hope. That's my job. I meant no disrespect. It's fine. Through here, Jin. If you ride with the straw hats, you have to look the part. I've got a spare set of armor that should fit. You better not have lice. Never letting me forget that, are you? Spare armor's in the chest. <laughs> You're not as handsome as me, but it's not bad. <laughs> we should check the fort's defenses. Look for weak spots. My men will handle that part. Then we have a deal? Get us that food at the Fort Ohira. And we'll get your uncle away from the Mongols. Thank you, Yuzo. Just remember who's in charge of the Straw Hats. I would never dream of replacing you, my friend. Give us a head start. We'll meet you at the old cemetery. See you there. Okay. So now I got this armor. Some points to spend. So what does this armor do? Nothing. Oh wait. Okay, so it's like a stealth. Protection speed stuff. Increase the melee damage. And I probably still would take that. Um, hmm. Got two points. Might be the right time to get even one more standoff kill. Yeah, let's do that. I don't know the, the tech tree, the like the skill tree in this game is, is a little underwhelming too. I would say like there's just not a lot of like especially on the stances and stuff. Like I don't know. I guess like increased stagger damage against swordsmen. Like that's useful, but it's not. I don't know. It doesn't. It's not cool. <laughs> Uh, this stance stuff I've not 
particularly liked even at two stances and and having three and four like one for like oh you every time you see a spear guy you should switch to this every time you switch like that's eh. I don't I don't know that the game benefits from the stance change stuff the way it is currently implemented like if it had been like hey there's really only one stance but we've got a more involved combat system and if you unlock these moves, they will be more effective against these types of enemies, and you can kind of just flow into them, different combos or, or, or what have you. Like, I think I would have appreciated more involved com basic combat as opposed to, like, the combat's kind of the same, but each stance just happens to be better against one type of enemy. Um, and, you know, obviously it's like it's slightly different. I mean, you know, you are getting, like, these, these hold, hold heavy attacks, basically, which I, I don't use that much and haven't really needed to um it's hard to find out where to spend points yeah y yeah you're right it, it's because because none of this stuff seems all that vital really um like it's useful you know like hey make the focus hearing better like you know real like you're like yeah no okay that yeah of course um hey give me more the slow time using a bow like yeah sure sure why not but it's um None of it's particularly flashy. Uh, instead, it's just like, oh, these attacks that used to be unblockable, now you can parry them. And also, the parry windows are so fucking wide. Uh, you can just mash on block and parry half the time. Granted, I'm still in Act 1. Maybe maybe the game ramps up. Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does, God. I guess that's maybe the other thing, is I feel like I've been playing this game for a long time, and yet I still haven't really gotten anywhere with it. Um, but I sure have done a lot of the same type of stuff over and over again maybe that again maybe that's just on me for doing the side stuff but um i don't know i'm here to do side stuff well let's go in the direction of actual story stuff I meant to ask you something earlier. I might have an answer. How'd you survive the invasion? I almost didn't. A peasant pulled me from the battlefield. She nursed me back to health. <laughs> you always were lucky. How did you and your men escape? We ran. Do what you need to prepare. I'll see you at the old cemetery. Fine, we're fine. Yuzo should be in the cemetery. Okay, let's get in here. Good. You're here. 
You ready to steal some food for us? Hell yeah. Is this everyone? Just the men who can fight worth a damn. The rest are too hungry or sick. Let's hope we're enough to raid the fort. There's a better chance of seeing cherry blossoms in winter than getting that food. There's always a way. Preferably won't kill half my men. Wine some more, why don't you? My scout's back. Come on. A lot of men inside, and a signal at the top of the tower. If they call reinforcements from the bay, we'll be trapped. They'll cut us to pieces. Find a place to watch for me. Once they destroy their signal, attack. They'll kill you. If they do, avenge me. And take their food. That's not funny. Watch the tower for my signal. If you say so. So I guess this would be probably a good spot for this stealth armor. I mean, they gave it to me for a reason. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's up? Right, I guess I don't need to kill all of them, I just... This guy, though, just begging. Just yeah. a little bit of that for you. I'm a samurai. So that, yeah, that was that was pretty honorable, I thought. We're fine. That thing feels a pretty slow. Even without this armor, I feel like the stealth in this game is. Uh, Pretty light. Hey man. Signal the others. They'll see me light the brazier. It's time, Yuzo. Oh, 
didn't have the thing over his head. We got guys over here too. Or sometimes Die, you ugly bastards. Let's get your men something to eat. Where's all the food? I didn't see any in the tower. Did you find anything? Whoops. Just a stack of Mongol papers on a dead officer. Let me see. You read Mongolian? If it's in Chinese, I can make out some of it. Since when? Since I had to read Sun Tzu. This was only a temporary depot. Taking everything offshore. The boats are in the bay. We'll never get out to them. We got in here. You're crazy. What did you have in mind? Let's see what we're up against. Of small boats on the beach. We could steal one, but we'd have to cut through their army. Yes, that's right. The war man, Sun Tzu. Too many barriers and archers. War guy. The frontal attack would be official suicide. Name. I want my men far away from the enemy's line. Put your archers on that cliff. The Mongols will focus on them while we steal a boat. Flaming arrow might set off those explosives. That will get their attention. But we need them to look away from the beach. All right, men. They don't know we took the fort, so they'll be waiting for reinforcements that aren't coming. Keep them busy long enough for us to steal a boat. Then retreat into the forest. Look for my torch. That's your signal to attack. Let's find a way down to the beach. You heard, Yuzo. Let's move. We won't let you down. Let's go back to the stealth armor, I guess. It probably doesn't need this level of micromanaging, right? This is this probably isn't that big of a deal. Watching you fight back there reminded me of Lord Nagao's tournament. You did whatever it took to win. It was a competition. You fought just as hard. Did I? What are you getting at? Nothing. Just remembering our duel. We'll talk about this later. If we survive. <clears throat> Your men should be in position. Light the torch. Now, man. They come through. Look at that fire. Pardon me, sir. Excuse me, friend. Oh, that's... This wasn't the plan, I that's thought I could have. Alright, get to the boat. Go, sir! Go, sir! 
We need to move quickly. Take an oar. Is this gameplay? Will I actually control a boat? I'm gonna guess no. Your men distracted the ship's crew too. Look around them. Nothing. I never knew our duo bothered you so much. Now you do. Uh, no luck. You should have told me earlier. Life took us in different directions. Anyway, it was a long time. No food here. Any sign of food? Not here. Maybe on the next ship. Hear that? Sounds like four or five guys. No way around. Surprise them. Greeting! Nice ship. We have to move fast. Ready? Zataki! Should just run over there and keep and stab them all. Yes, More mongols. Take them. I hope you kept your blade sharp. Hooray, the wind stance. Suck it, spear guys. Typhoon kick. It's a launcher? That's just a straight up launcher? Is that like a Sarah Bryant? Down forward twice, kick. Automatically parry spear attacks. That's... Hey. Typhoon kick sounds fun. Though. <laughs> So I wonder if this this guy counts as a brute or a shield. He gets the extra stagger damage. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, yes. Let me return to the tail area. These doors do not open. Oh, how? What the fuck's he doing over there fighting still? You search here. I'll take the other. Be careful. What's up, man? I'm a samurai. Don't tell nobody, though. <laughs> Here, you. No, no, do that. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I wonder if I could have just shot this open or something, if that would have done a thing. Hey, buddy. That's some food, right? Space plans. These look like battle plans. Better go find your Yuzo. There has to be something. Stolen from us. Yuzo. I won't fall.
got some reach on that fight. You won't win. I would have had that Mongo if you hadn't shown up. I know. Did you see how big he was? That's where all our food went. <laughs> That seems like a problem. Bastards. You're burning our food. Miso, we have to go. Swim. I have to. The fire's spreading. Jump! <sighs> Let's get out of sight. They're still hunting us. That's a good hiding spot ahead. I promised my men I'd feed them, and I'm going back empty-handed. We'll find another way. But how many will I lose before then? I found something that might help. Mongol battle plans. Do and a baby roof. Lines? One page has a map. It's a start. Hand it over. We do this together. You've got your own problems, and I am the leader. I need this, Jin. And I'll need you at Castle Canada. You'll have me. Don't let them see you coming. Just like you. Is that a burn? Is, is that a sick burn? Wait, hang on. Is that a sick burn? Not quite enough for two points, huh? Okay. I need to find Yuna. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the last thing left, huh? Yeah, I mean, I guess they, they really do just kind of gate off um, access to the rest of the game through the castle, huh? You kind of just flow up through it. That makes sense. But again, it's like, it's one of those things that just feels like, man, it's this is like a really old, this is a really old open world game in a lot of ways, right? You have three areas, gated progress, all that sort of stuff. It's It just... It's a lot of stuff that you just feel like like a lot of games have gotten away from. This game is just like pouring right into that mold. And um, map too large. Yeah, map map may be too large. Uh, but the fast travel is very generous. Um, in terms of you can pretty much fast travel to any, any point of interest that you've cleared uh, pretty easily. Armor upgrades... I don't know. Um, let's clear a location close to where we're going, and then maybe I'll stop. I don't know. Uh, Ooh, do something so. else. Let's go. Hey, what you guys doing? Looking for me? Yad sok sok my man. you. What am 
guys come as well. Oh, he got some. So what do we got here? I like that you can spend points to to basically show or you know like find the things you haven't found on the map. It's kind of nice, considering the way some games have just been like, oh, we'll sell you that stuff, you know, sell you the full map. This seems like a more elegant way to handle it uh, that doesn't involve DLC. Uh, perfect parry. I mean, yeah, I'm granted, I'm not doing a ton of perfect parries, but the imperfect parries are plenty. I mean, I could just spend two points and just fill this tree out, I guess. Uh, typhoon kicks. I, don't, I just don't. I just don't see myself using. That stuff. I mean, I can st spend my two points to get this better stagger damage on sword guys. I don't know. Pain assassination times three. I could do that. I don't know. Move faster with foe. I don't know. Save yourself from defeat when wounded for two resolve. Like the honestly, the checkpointing in this game is totally fine and just. Yeah, I haven't needed the I have not needed the ability to revive. Uh, I've died here and there, but like the there's no you, you start really close to where you died. Sometimes the enemies you were fighting are just gone. Like it's there's no real this has not seemed like something I've been like dying to have. Um more kunai, no. Don't get hit by my own bombs. I you know, I'm barely using the bombs. Like it's like just most of this tree just it feels Like, kind of whatever. Uh, you know, the evasion stuff will be useful in its own way. Um, this is something, this is like story stuff. You don't spend points to get those. Shoulder charge would be okay, probably. This would be all right to have. This, like, uh, dodge and attack. Sprint strike, kind of whatever. Maybe I get this in the shoulder charge. Or I could just fill this out and just say I'm done with it. I don't know. Uh, all right. Dodging flash. shoulder charge all right jumping tackle off the horse is that's like that'd be a fun thing to do a couple of times that doesn't like the game doesn't need that but that seems like it'd still be kind of cool at least potentially all right so now we've got that i guess is it gonna you know. <laughs> But I feel like that's been my problem since pretty early in the game is like looking at the skill tree and being like, none of this seems like stuff you need to be successful at this game. And it's all stuff that you go like, oh, well, that'll make things like moderately easier. And, and you know, okay. There's been a couple where you go like, oh, that's actually cool. But it, it, yeah, most of it just hasn't seemed vital or... or, or... Komatsu, Yuna and Taka should be there. 
except for uh, the ability to parry uh, spear attacks that, that start out at the start of the game. Those attacks are unblockable, so turning those into things you can parry like that's that's useful. <clears throat> like that's like I think the first ability you buy or one of. Oh, I was trying to go to that undiscovered location and not... Well, whatever. Fighting ahead. Fucked up. jump up to the roof, which would be pretty cool. Yuna, is that you? You made it. What happened here? Where's Taka? Hiding with what's left of Komatsu. Mongols came a few days ago. They took prisoners, killed anyone who put up a fight. Now they're coming back to finish the job. These were just scouts. They enforced them far behind. Then we have to go. Now. We can hold this town. What? We need Komatsu's forge. Hold this town tonight. And its people. If you need to, you can leave. No. I'm tired of running. Take me to the others. <coughs> An arrow's only battle royale. Wasn't that that, um... Darwin project or whatever it was? A few families. Mostly farmers and blacksmiths. Not worth much in a fight. You killed all these men by yourself? Good work. I've had some practice. Can you get more arrows? Used ones. Stuck in buildings. And bodies. They'll have to do. I was out here leading villagers to safety. One of them got trapped over here by the Mongols. What is that? What are you doing? <laughs> I, is it safe? The Mongols are gone for now. We're going to the forge. You'll be safer with us. Is the forge working? Yes, but we can't light it. The smoke will give us away. Show the Mongols where to find us. We can use it to lure them in. Force a fight at a location we control. They won't be expecting you here. No, the Zakai. Yuna. Taka. I prayed the gods would protect you. I appreciate it. But I came for your help. Yuna said you needed something. A new tool. To save Lord Shimura. He's held prisoner in Castle Canada, and I need to break him out. Quietly. With no one seeing. This town has a forge. And you're a blacksmith. The best. I might be able to make something. But there is no time. The Mongols. I won't let them take Kumatsu. We're staying. I need my assistant, Yukio. 
but we got separated. Where is he? I think he was looking for his wife in town. I'll find Yukio. You know. There's yeah, always something. She always is. Man, I can't see which way the wind's blowing. It's been pretty good about that. About not, not doing that. No, I know. My wife and her sister are by the river. Lead me to them, quickly. This way. Stay close and follow my orders. Good enough. You didn't see that. I fought him. I fought him face to Don't face. Don't look at it. Look at me. Yes, my lord. The Mongols found them. Stay here. Then <laughs> Nigam your husband. Mutsu! My love. Yukio. My god, I lost you. Are you hurt? That man fought like an animal or a demon. Only when I'm facing Mongols. We're going to the forge. Stay close. Get... 
Fuck. That stuff's been pretty annoying so far, the whole thing of like, hey, they are gonna kill civilians. Butsu, my love. Uh, you killed. That stuff has I not been I great. Lost you. Are you hurt? That man fought like an animal or a demon. Keep quiet. Draw your blades! We're going to the forge. Stay close. That went better, then. Just sticking these guys. Yukio, he saved us, Taka. Thank you, my lord. The Mongols are here. Where's Yuna? She went to get a family from the house across the river. Hasn't come back. Damn. Don't light the forge until we come back. It's always something. It's being a samurai. Light the forge. Taka said you're looking for a family. I was too late. The Mongols captured them just across the river. Those people took my brother in when he was an apprentice. All right, we'll save him. We I'm a samurai. Blind. It's what I do. It's fine. Let's go. Where is samurai? Well. Oh, that's gonna go bad because I don't. Okay. That didn't alert everybody. <laughs> this dude, not good at his job. I wish there was something that, uh, whether it was an upgrade or something like that, that would automatically, if you're at maximum resolve, which are the pips there at the bottom that you can use to heal, 
Like if you're at maximum resolve but not maximum health, kills just go into your health kind of automatically or something like that. I feel like I'm kind of constantly wasting resolve. Like I've got two thirds life Help. and I've forgotten to heal or whatever. Um, and I'm just like at full resolve, just you wasting all us. whatever extra Twice resolve I'm earning. So that'd be like a cool Can you make it to the foot? Yes. upgrade at some point, I guess. I think I don't so. Know. Everyone stay close to me. Ugh, more of this. Frank the pimp all of a sudden. Where did he come from? It's a long story. The way he killed them. He's not human. Maybe you're right. I guess like, that's the thing, right? It's, you had to say something about this game is that it's like it's repetitive, you know? Like it's not. Yuna, thank the. It ain't gods. bad. Like I'm having an all right time playing it for sure. But like uh, the Forge took her. What about the Mongols? They someone earlier said podcast game, and that gives yeah, us a chance to kill them all. If they yeah. don't kill us first. Either way, this is where we make our stand. Think about that, fool. Let me go, please. <laughs> 
Problem solved, I guess. Maybe I can end Act One now. After I do, you know, another 30 side missions. I've never seen a samurai fight like that. It was nothing. That's how that's we all we all fight like we all do that. More than a samurai. He is a vengeful spirit. Back from the grave. To slaughter the Mongols. Where do we hide now? You don't. Fire up a forge and get back to making strong Komatsu weapons. That's how we fight back. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura. Vengeful spirit? I think they liked it. There's like decent little character bits in this game, you know? There's... Like 
things about it where you're like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, just like little bits and pieces of character interactions and stuff like that. But it's like, you kind of just, it, a lot of it just gets lost. Also, I'm at the end of act one and I almost have all of the ghost weapons unlocked. And that's kind of, um, it's kind of weird. These don't, I, I, whatever. Sure. If I pack the Mongols' black powder into a clay pot, I can set it aflame and throw it as a weapon. Oh, I hope it doesn't roll right into this mission because I, I, I don't want to do this right. I read that samurai follow a path of honor. Oh yeah. It is one of the many differences between us. Hmm. Then why have my men found their brothers stabbed in the back? Lord Sakai would never resort to such tactics. War brings out who we truly are. It has made you a dog. Unleashed by your cousin Kublai to rape and pillage at his command. Your nephew strays from the warrior's path. Knock, knock! Open up the door of his frail! Unless you join my empire's fight for peace. This guy looks like current day you Steven Seagal. Allies. You want soldiers to overthrow the Shogun? To me. So every time I see this dude, it just, just looks like. Alpha. Look like Help your nephew like a real B movie Steven Seagal role. His cowardice goes too far. You know what I mean, right? Before I bring you his head, kinda, like a little bit. I can't free my uncle until Tucker finishes what he's working on. I should see if Yuna has any news. Oh, I see. It treats those as... Instead of the bow, I get... Eh. No, I don't need that. New saddle available. I don't want bow upgrades. I don't want... I don't know that I need armor upgrades or that the armor that I would that it would be the armor I'm wearing. Let's uh let's show that. Oh yeah, it looks like I can afford. Oh wait, maybe not. Yeah, see I'm not looking to upgrade any of this armor, so like saying, "Oh, you can upgrade through your armors." Like I'm not going to waste the materials on those when I really just kind of want to upgrade this. Uh well, yeah, massive increase to health would be good. So maybe get, getting one more level out of this would be good. And then the next one just being like more resolve on damage. Like that's useful, but it's not key. So maybe at that point I upgrade other stuff. But but I think I would really just kind of want to upgrade the, the blade. While you were wasting supplies on bow upgrades... I upgraded the blade. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Maybe that's enough of this for now. a lot of stuff i mean assuming that there's like stuff you know in a similar array around these edges i mean this is just the act one area more or less and it's just a ton of spots i haven't even been to you know there's like these three missions with this dude there's eight more with her seven more with this dude it's just like man <laughs> Maybe if there had been more of those, but fewer just like random side activities. I don't, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know. It's 
It's fine. You know, like, it's cool that there's a lot of stuff to do, but I also feel like, man, I'm, you know, we're getting to act one. And I've heard people say that, like, the middle of this game is where it gets totally interminably long and drags and all this other stuff. And, like, I'm already... I feel like I've purchased everything I care about off the skill tree already. <laughs> and so, like... The idea of this game only being at the end of Act 1 just seems fucking nuts. Um, yeah, there's just... Uh, it's, it's out of balance, right? I mean, it's like... Um, It's 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 a ton of content, but not enough reason to do it. I guess like it's it's repetitive, and the you know you or you end up getting to a point where you have unlocked damn near everything, and there's like so much more game to go, or so many more side things you could be doing, but you reach a point where you're like, I don't I don't need to do this anymore. Like I, I would do the content. I, like I don't the content's not bad. It's fine, and um. You know, that, that stuff's fun, um, but yeah, like I said, the amount of content and the, the potential reward feels very out of balance, I guess, right? It's, it's just kind of strange that way. Um, what else is going on? I got, a, I got a track of the day to get to. They roll over, I think, every, uh, you know, at 10 a.m., uh, the track mania track of the day swaps so maybe we uh maybe i'd give that another go here fire that up do a little bit of driving mm. Mm. sore back sore back Okay, let's see here. We'll swap over to this and then push this. And hope for the best. There we go. Boom. This, yeah, when you first load up the game, if you try to go right into the track of the day, which is like a normal thing that I feel like people would do, you just can't get there. I gotta kind of bop out and then try to go back in. And now maybe it'll work. Now maybe it'll work. Now maybe it'll work. Uh, medal on yesterday's, uh, which it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Mm. 
I gotta figure out a solution for playing console games on stream that doesn't involve me um, bending my body to get in front of the microphone more directly and destroying myself. That's uh, it's a, that's a bad, it's a bad solution. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the, um, the mic came with these headphones, I think. I think I left it in the box, but... Yeah, I'm gonna hit this stuff. That's the custom terrain. Is finding a way to make some of the other obstacles poke through the road. Oh boy. <sighs> Gotta drive better. I did this again by mistake. Let's just try to keep going. How does the track of the day work? The track of the day works. They have uh, map review servers where if you make a map, you can submit it and uh, and players will vote on it. And uh, maps that get rated highly there have a chance to be selected for track of the day. And that's pretty much it. What? Whoa. Oh God, what just happened? What the hell is going on? It's been a, some kind of cool track of the days lately. Some neat ideas.
That's a pretty cool thing right here. Oh god. I have gone the wrong way. There's my... Oh. Yeah, trophy... Yeah, trophy drop rate seemed to be different last night. Like, I was on a server and placing, like, fifth and getting, like, eight trophies. It almost seemed a little bit more like the league points or ladder points or whatever from other Trackmania, where, you know, if you're low-ranked and you're beating people that are higher-ranked, you get more. So I would get eight trophies in fifth place, but, like, the first place person was only getting two. So I assume they made a change to that logic or whatever. Uh... Man, this part, if you don't, if you get it right, this part's great. If you get it wrong, uh, if you make a single mistake, uh, that part's a gigantic pain in the ass. It's like very hard to recover. For you, there's no, there's no real on-screen indicator about which way is up. So just the gravity of it just seems really strange. No, oh, okay. See, that's not how I expected the... logic of it to work. Oh, we're fucked. Can't even get up there. Can't even get up there. Oh, did I accidentally go backwards? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Again, with the backwards. What a pain in the ass. Cool looking track, though. If I had to say... One thing about how they've handled track mania and the track of the day and all that other stuff is that it is not as beginner friendly as it probably should be for a game that it seems like they are trying to uh, get in front of more people with. such we're upside down let's give it like one more solid try and then stop doing this because this track is not fun to bang your head against
Oh, I should have kept going that way. Very close to the end of the track, too. Damn it. Can't believe I'm doing this again. That did not go as smoothly as it did last time. And now neither will this. No, I gotta keep going. Uh... Yeah, fuck this. Not thrilled with that bronze, to be honest. I wonder what happens at the end of the month. Probably nothing, right? And probably just be like, hey, nice. <laughs> it's August now. There are more tracks. Uh... Anyway, track mania, am I right? Um, probably going to wrap it up here. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Um, yeah, Ghost of Tsushima is... All right. It's all right. It's, uh, I feel like the more I play of it, the more like frustrating it is from the perspective of just like, man, there's like something about it that could be way better and like they're they're so close to unlocking that um and they don't quite get there i don't know um sounds like fable's happening tomorrow yeah i figured i figured we would get fable tomorrow if that's something that they've been um working on for a while now from the sounds of things um and you know obviously halo Maybe you've heard of it. It's called Halo. What else, though? What I mean, like, what's the first-party Microsoft stuff that, like, I, I, like, there kind of has to be a new Forza, right? I mean, they have to make a new Forza at some point. I'm, I would think that would be something they would launch with, since Turn Ten took. Didn't they, well, didn't they kind of take time off? Um. Like, when was the last Forza Motorsport? It was seven, right? It came out in 2017. And then Forza Horizon 4 was... What was that, 2019? 2018. So if it's been... a couple of years... since a Forza game... I mean, so that's the thing, like, right? Like, because classically you think like, oh, well, you know, if you're doing a uh, new console and you need a tech showpiece, like, you know, Sony dragged out what little Gran Turismo stuff they had. Um, I would think you would just say, hey, check out this car for the same reason we've always said, right? It's like, oh, well, hey, um, you know what cars look like in real life. You know what roads look like in real life, all this other stuff. When we show this to you, you can, it'll unlock in your head the part where you go like, that looks very real. As someone who has seen a car before, hmm, this seems like something that, that seems like it's a real looking car. That sure seems like a car. And so it's a very easy way to convey, not easy. I mean, obviously like, you know, they have to work their asses off to make the, the tires as round as they are. But um, yeah, I would think that they would do they would at least try to have a Forza game for launch. 
right? If they took a year off, wouldn't that be the reason you would take a year off is to be there and ready for launch with a, with a Forza Motorsport Infinite? What are they, what are they just called all their games? So here's Fable Infinite. Here's Super Fable. Here's Super Forza Motorsport. Um, show streaming on Mixer. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. They'll they'll be that's the only place they're doing it. So make sure you go to mixercom slash Microsoft Xbox for real, uh, and um, and check it out. I might I you know no guarantees because you know it's well, I got a lot of stuff I gotta do here still. But um, if tonight's gonna be the last night on Mixer, then maybe I should uh, maybe I should get on Mixer. Uh, later tonight and see what's up is mixer.com still proper have they set a time is it just midnight mixer's service will end july 22nd keep watching amazing streamers at fb.gg see that's their ad their closable ad nice of them to add like hey you can you can hit x to close this this thing out Uh, meanwhile, if you go scroll down to the partner spotlight, oh, it's only one now. It's only one. Oh no. One, two, only two of the people in the partner spotlight carousel have their Twitch URLs in the, oh no. But if you scroll down to some of the other live streams and, and top streams and all that other stuff, you definitely see some Twitch URLs being listed in, in there. Um, yeah, this one, this person's just streaming like. Next platform, Twitch. Streaming now on Twitch. Please follow me. Like, that's their live stream. It's just a Twitch logo. <laughs> if you want to get some Forza Horizon 4 influence, there's people streaming that still. So, um, you know, if you want some 24-7 influence farm, you better get that while you can. Um... Is this guy running a, oh my God, is this guy running like a conspiracy theory show? He's like in a super empty room with their, like a radio microphone logo and then there's an American, like the, the room just looks barren, but there's an American flag, a tattered looking American flag on the wall behind him. Hidden, immune, oh, he's just, yeah, that's. So that's where Mixer went there, huh? Just straight, straight up Vaughn Live type shit. Just straight up vapors.tv. Um, anyway, fb.gg, what even, that's, I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go to Facebook. I'm going to, it goes to facebook.com slash gaming. Welcome mixer community. Here's a guy with a beard. Uh, so that checks out. This page looks almost like a real video game streaming website. It just has like, you know, a little bit of Facebook, a little too much Facebook design on it. Um, streamer dashboard. Welcome to Creator Studio. Get started. Your audience will thank you. Boy. I don't, I'm going to just close this. I'm just going to close this. Um, I deleted Facebook off my phone. I have not deleted my Facebook yet, um, but I deleted the app off my phone. I just, uh, just to see how that goes. Like, I just don't really look at Facebook anymore anyway, but like now there's no like, I'm going to, I'm sitting here, I'm going to check four things and Facebook's one of them or, you know, like I just, it wasn't, uh, was not useful to have, uh, unless you want to see relatives of yours saying dumb shit and, um, I just don't have the patience for that anymore. So, uh, it was like I unfollowed or I didn't unfollow it. Like you can. On Facebook, you can snooze people for 30 days. You can be like, oh, this person is fucking dumb. I don't want to see this bullshit anymore. But I don't want to unfriend them, and I don't quite want to unfollow them yet. So just snooze them for 30 days. And I went through and did that to a bunch of people that were just posting stupid shit. And then uh, 
And then I think the 30 days went up and suddenly it was just a ton of stupid shit again. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. What are we even doing? Uh, so I don't know. I'm still like an admin on the giant bomb page on Facebook. Uh, and so I would need to transfer that. And I think it's just, I need to figure out like, do I still have any logins that go through Facebook and all that other stuff? Like maybe I should just finally delete my Facebook. Um, and and just be done with it uh or something but i don't know maybe just deleting the app off my phone and just using it significantly less is uh is enough uh there's actually a, a reasonably active uh mister group on facebook though which uh the lead developer posts to that occasionally but he's got his own message boards and there's like five different discords that if anything happens in that world, I see it that way anyway, so it's not really that useful. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Facebook. Facebook, am I right? Uh, anyway. Everyone have a tremendous Wednesday. And uh, I'm going to go and drink this water that I've had sitting here this entire time that I forgot to open. It's a big, it's a big water. It's a big water. Slam it down. Um, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich or something. So everybody take care and I'll see you soon. And we'll be live tomorrow morning for the Xbox thing to do that to see the Halo, to watch John Halo bear his buttocks uh, for the world to see. Um, and that's going to be... Uh, Halo Infant's a comedy. I think that's the thing they're not telling people. is It's, it's going to be hilarious. Full of ass jokes. Trust me on this. This is... It's, def it's definitely going to... It's definitely going to happen. It's absolutely a thousand percent going to happen. Stay safe out there. I'll see you soon. I can push. Okay. Now I can. So the problem with web sockets. I've got this. Uh, I've got this stream deck here that, that I'm using web, the power of web sockets to talk to the other computer, but the buttons on the stream deck don't update whether I'm like, it doesn't have a yes, no uh, on the, the buttons. So I don't know if it worked or not, which means I still have to go over to the window and make sure it's happening that it, that it's that it stopped or or started and uh it, at that at that point once i'm looking at it i might as well just push the buttons with my mouse ineffective all right i'm going to push the record button now <laughs>